Clint Barton is shown in the beginning teaching his daughter how to shoot an arrow while his wife prepares a picnic meal for them on their remote property. The effect of Thanos snapping his fingers after obtaining all six Infinity Stones is Clint's daughter disappearing, along with the rest of Clint's family and half of all life in the universe. After being defeated by Thanos on Titan, Nebula and Tony Stark are left stranded in space. Carol Danvers brings them back to Earth where they are reunited with Natasha Romanoff, Bruce Banner, Steve Rogers, Rocket, Thor, and James Rhodes. The gang devises a plot to kidnap the Infinity Stones from Thanos and use them to undo his deeds, but upon locating him, they discover that he had already utilized them. Scott Lang leaves the Quantum Realm five years later to find that Cassie is now a teenager and that Hope Van Dyne, along with half the population, was taken by the snap. While Romanoff is continuously maintaining watch over both Earth and the rest of the cosmos with the assistance of Rhodes, Danvers, Okoy, Rocket, and Nebula, Rogers has been leading grief counseling sessions for survivors still dealing with the aftereffects of the snap. Lang goes to Romanoff and Rogers and explains that although it had been five years for them, it had only been five hours for him and that time stretched very differently there. The three go to Stark, who is now co-parenting a child with pepper pots, and express their hypothesis that the Infinity Stones can be stolen from Thanos before he can collect them by using the Quantum Realm to travel back in time. After considering the loss of Peter Parker, Stark initially rejects their suggestion out of concern for his family and the tranquility he has attained. However, after reflecting on the loss of Peter Parker, Stark decides to test theoretical models that would be compatible with Lang's quantum tunnel and eventually finds one that works. The remaining Avengers set out to put their squad back together with Stark now on board. Now that Bruce Banner has accepted the Hulk as a part of himself, they have fused into a single consciousness. Romanoff sets out to identify the assassin after receiving information from Rhodes that he uses tactics similar to those of Barton. After losing his family, Barton became so overcome with grief that he began to ruthlessly massacre criminal cartels and gangs all across the world under the alias, Ronin, in an effort to better the world that was still left. He is discovered by Natasha in Japan, and after some persuasion, he decides to rejoin the team in an effort to try to bring his family back. Banner and Rocket travel to the hamlet of New Asgard, which is home to Valkyrie and the final Asgardian survivors. Thor is discovered by them there, overcome with guilt for failing to slay Thanos in Wakanda. Thor plays Fortnite with his friends Korg and Meek, eats fast food, drinks alcohol, and has grown his hair and beard out. He has also gained weight recently. After being persuaded by Rocket and Banner, Thor reluctantly decides to rejoin the Avengers. The Avengers are reunited with a plan when Barton tests the quantum time machine and confirms that it is functional. Banner, Rogers, Lang, and Stark set out to retrieve the time, mind, and space stones during the Battle of New York in 2012. When Banner visits the Sanctum Sanctorum, the Ancient One informs him that removing the time stone from her timeline will thwart Stephen Strange's future attempts to stop Kesilius from violating the natural laws, but when Banner informs her that Strange willingly surrendered the time stone to Thanos, she permits Banner to keep it, suggesting that Strange had meant for a particular series of events to take place in order for Thanos to be vanquished. In order to avoid any negative repercussions, Banner further pledges that the stones will be returned to their correct timelines. After the Avengers take the Space Stone away from Loki, Lang and Stark make an attempt. While Stark steals the briefcase containing the Tesseract when no one is watching, Lang causes Stark's former self a mild cardiac collapse by tampering with the circuit in his prosthetic heart. Stark spills the briefcase after getting hit by the Hulk unintentionally, foiling their scheme. Loki then takes the Space Stone and uses it to get away from the authorities. In spite of his success in taking the Mind Stone from covert Hydra agents, Rogers runs into his former self, who believes he is a disguised Loki. After fighting past Steve, Rogers reunites with Stark and Lang, who now have to devise a different plan to obtain the Space Stone without using up all of the Pym particles that are required to allow them to traverse the quantum world. While Rogers and Stark prepare to take the Space Stone from a U.S. Army installation in the 1970s and also acquire additional vials of Pym particles to complete the journey back home, Lang returns to the present with the Mind Stone. While there, Rogers sees Peggy Carter, and Stark and his father Howard have a deep chat. Before Malekith uses the Reality Stone against the Nine Realms, Rocket and Thor journey to Asgard to retrieve it. As Rocket steals the ether, the reality stone in vapor form, from Jane Foster, Thor is reminded that his mother, Frigga, would soon pass away and has a chance encounter with her. 
After Thor receives advice from Frigga and retrieves his hammer Mjolnir, thrilled to learn that he is still deserving of it, the two travel back to Earth. In order to steal the Power Stone before Peter Quill does, Nebula and Rhodes journey to Morag. With the help of the Power Stone, Rhodes travels back in time, but Nebula malfunctions and stays on Morag. Thanos and Ebony Maw learn that future Nebula is present because to the two consciousnesses acting on Nebula's systems, and they set out to abduct her. While attempting to tell the others after realizing what has happened, Nebula is already too late. After scanning her memories and learning about the Avengers' strategy, Thanos sends the more obedient Nebula from the past back in time to act as a spy. When Red Skull, the stone's guardian, tells Barton and Romanoff that they must sacrifice a loved one in order to obtain the stone, they become conflicted and decide not to go to Vormir. Romanoff ultimately bears the burden of the sacrifice after a struggle between the two, and a sad Barton returns to Earth with the Soul Stone. Using the same nanotechnology as Stark's most recent Iron Man armor, Banner, Rocket, and Stark set out to create a gauntlet to hold the stones after everyone had returned to the present on Earth. Because he believes he can survive both the gamma radiation and the severe agony and injury caused by using the stones, Banner offers to use the gauntlet to bring back everyone who was killed in Thanos' snap. He succeeds, but Thanos, who the fake Nebula summoned to Earth, attacks them almost immediately, shattering the quantum portal in the process. When Thanos destroys the Avengers' headquarters, the squad is split up, and the gauntlet ends up under Barton's guard. While Rogers, Thor, and Stark confront Thanos, who determines he will use the Infinity Stones to destroy the universe and construct one in his vision, the future Nebula kills the past Nebula as she tries to steal the Infinity Stones from Barton. The three engage in a one-on-one -on -one battle with Thanos, with Rogers supporting Thor's hypothesis that he is capable of using Mjolnir, but they are all defeated by Thanos. T'Challa makes an appearance before Rogers shortly after Thanos' army arrives on Earth, along with all of the Avengers and other allies Banner has restored, before leading an attack against Thanos and his army. After a protracted conflict in which Quill and previous Gamora are reunited and Stark and Parker are reunited, Thanos engages in a struggle with the Avengers for the Infinity Stones. T'Challa makes an appearance before Rogers shortly after Thanos' army arrives on Earth, along with all of the Avengers and other allies Banner has restored, before leading an attack against Thanos and his army. After a protracted conflict in which Quill and previous Gamora are reunited and Stark and Parker are reunited, Thanos engages in a struggle with the Avengers for the Infinity Stones. The Avengers hold Stark's burial after the conflict, floating his Mark I arc reactor out on the nearby lake. The fact that Romanoff and Vision, who were absent during the snap, would be happy with their defeat of Thanos, gives Barton and Wanda Maximoff some comfort. Thor, who is for the first time ever free of the burden of royalty and leadership, crowns Valkyrie the Queen of Asgard and joins the Guardians of the Galaxy in order to discover his real calling. Parker rejoins his best friend Ned at school while Barton goes back home to be with his family. While Carter chooses to spend the rest of her life in the past with Rogers, Rogers is entrusted with traveling into the past to return the stones and Thor's hammer to their original timelines. As an elderly man, he emerges in front of Sam Wilson and Bucky Barnes and hands Wilson his shield and the cape of Captain America. In a brief flashback, Rogers and Carter can be seen in their living room sharing the dance they always wanted to do. They appear to be finally happy, 